Marty's going to be a success story because sooner or later, his basketball is going to catch up to the type of person he is. And when that happens, um, we're going to have ourselves a hell of a kid here. Today's college athletes can get a huge payday with the name, image, and likeness deals. In some cases, the controversial benefit can bring in more than six figures. Some basketball players are using that money towards cars and nice homes. Michigan State's Mati Sissoko is giving his NIL money to his small village in Africa. The six foot nine inch center for the Spartans just returned from his trip to Mali, where he saw what his donation brought to the small village. News 10 reporter Justin Kent caught up with Mati to find out more about this heartwarming story. Number 22 for the Spartans is enjoying the life of a Division I athlete. Mati Suzoko came to the United States when he was 15 years old. He says it's hard for people to understand how people live back in his village in Mali. It's hard to explain. I wish you guys can see on your, your own eyes and you can be like, wow. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different every time I go over there, you know. I just make sure you know, I get back where I come from. That's my mission. Due to his student visa, he cannot make any money from his NIL deal. Instead, Suzuka found a way to give that money back to the place he came from. With help from other donations, Suzuka was able to put in a school, a basketball court, and a drinking well. Coach Tom Izzo says Mati's story is special because he's doing it for all the right reasons. It makes the story even cooler because he didn't do it for you guys to be here or me to be here, get pats on the back. He did it because he's got people back there that are trying to do what he did and get out of there and live a, a, a real life. And uh, man, that's cool. Mati remembers having to walk barefoot over a mile to go to school as a kid. Thanks to Mati Suzuko Foundation School, children in his village won't have to experience that. Suzuko says he had to explain what basketball was to the kids in Mali, and he hopes they will get lots of use on the newly installed nets. I just remember this kid, and uh, we, we had the basketball hoops. We playing the basketball hoop there, and I shot it, and then the kid come behind, can I shoot it? He just grabbed it in two hands and just throw it way up, and it's not even close. I'm like, ah, yo, this is what got me right here. <laughs> Providing children back home with opportunities that he didn't have as a child. In East Lansing, Justin Kent, News 10. And Coach Izzo says he wants to take time to sit his players down and celebrate what Mati has done, even wants to take a trip to see that school himself.